I'm going to show now how to link dimensions to custom properties in at the part level. So you can see that we have already created this weldment uh, multi-body part. And I've put some reference dimensions on here, this 160, 100, and 120, giving us the length, the width, and the height. Now, uh, they won't have exclusively been carried over to any sort of drawing from the part, but we can use these as um, custom properties so that they will then translate to drawings, bills and materials, and cut lists. So if I do File and Properties, you can see I've already set up here my height, my width, and my length as a text type. And all I'm going to do is select then the value slash text expression, and then select, in this case, the 120 as the height, and it puts in the description of the dimension that I've selected. So it will always update along with this. I'll do exactly the same then for the width and for the length. And because these are all linked values, as the part would update, this will also update. So if my sketch was to change in any way, for instance, move that to 120, you see my dimension has changed to 140, and my properties have also updated to 140 as well. Now there's just some of the small, uh, some of the, the dimensions that you can link into a custom property. So we can also use it as standard dimensions that are linked to drawing or a reference dimension as I've done here. This will then follow through to, as I mentioned, bills of materials, cut lists, or into your drawing to be used as linked values.